Seems like his matchups is going fairly well. 18, 19, and 2 now compared to 19, 1 against a Void Spirit, who's easily one of the best mid laners in the game right now. Kenji in some trouble and will be our first blood as Hustler is able to claim that last hit. He's suffering a bit in CS compared to the Troll, who uh, has a bit more free farm here. So it looks like all around IMG is doing very well for themselves when it comes to lanes, but the first rotation out from Gugu here. Mischance put onto Gugu, so that's seriously going to slow down the damage, and Bell is going to be just fine. If anything, Gugu's got to be a little bit careful here, daring to uh, potentially dive the tower like that. First rotation comes up bunk. At least for now, anyway. They're still going to stick around. They will manage to really? snipe that Phoenix. Okay. <laughs> seriously suffers. Especially if he's not up against a range hero. Meanwhile, top lane though, Kenji is gonna go down again, and the juggernaut can really do nothing but just try and run away. But even that may not be enough. Managed to juke out the Crypt Swarm, but is still gonna be run down by that long range spirit siphon. And uh, in this case, I would agree. I think it's gonna be a big issue for the veteran. You know, consider top lane. Hang on, they might have got hustle here. Oh, nice hustle. one. It may still die here. He's actually able to walk out of the cold feet. Mice is just going to be able to TP out, but uh, no such luck for Clay, who's going to be run down by the Exorcism. And Kenji, who failed to get the tiny kill there thanks to the stick procs, is also going to be in trouble here as the Death Prophet. He doesn't care. He sees the puck, and he just completely ignores him because he knows there's no way the puck can operate. It's the only reliable lockdown, so... <laughs> It's just, it's just so hard. It is so hard. There, well, speak of the devil. Bell, he's trying to uh, make a move here as a carry, wrapping around behind that tower, but Veteran is not going to give up the safe lane tower. They are still going to force this, but the eggs are going to go off in beautiful position, and Veteran is going to be forced to retreat. No one's going to be caught in the blast radius here, but Kenji is going to be cut off on the rest of his team and uh, very likely to die here. Meanwhile, Shoti does actually go down to the Void Spirit. But we're going to watch Kenji die here in the flames, and the Tier 1 tower will be forfeit. Fights are going to be damn near impossible for Veteran to take, considering the fact they just don't have reliable stuns. Try to jump the Juggernaut here. Hustle is still going to go for it. He's going to look for the toss back. On the slash, he's going to be able to catch him before he can hit the avalanche stun here, but it still pulls him back Where's into a team? dangerous position, Teleport. especially since he doesn't have spin. Nobody's teleporting for him, or at least not soon enough. The Wind Ranger is going to show up, but a bit too late to the party. How this exorcism goes, and uh, let's see what Veteran's plan is. The Void Remnant is going to be able to catch the puck, pulling him back in, but Gugu, nice shackle shot, is going to be able to land on the quad here. They do have the Ice Blast coming in, actually clips the Death Prophet, a big hit and a big kill. They do manage to get off the uh, Sunroof here, but uh, Veteran should be able to easily disengage the toss over. They're going to toss him at Genji here, who will die, but it's going to put the Void Spirit in an awkward position here. Doesn't have oh, no, the have so step. He's just stuck. The focus fire lasting for so long allowed them to be able to clean up that kill, and now the Phoenix is even in some trouble Radiance. here. Veteran, a uh, decent hold by them, but they're going to have to continue that a few mm. more times as Shoti just gets blown up by the fresh Blink Dagger of Hustler. Uh. Oh, and Bell. Bell is going to be caught here. Big pickup here for Veteran as the uh, Ice Blast, as soon as the Troll Ultimate wears out, he will be popped. Hustler is going to be able to catch the Pango, though. Takes him out. A one for two exchange on top of the puck kill that they already got in the mid lane. So, what do you think of this Death Prophet's build, by the way? I found the Falcon Blade was kind of cool, but uh, Into the Blade Mail is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I totally agree with that one. Jump in, combo. Onto the Pango. It is immediately going to be followed up by a Shackle Shot. Void Spirit is dead. The Supernova is going to go off, and Veteran, once again, are going to be able to retreat with no stuns laid out. Of one for one exchange to their favor, but what's not to their favor is losing their mid tower. He's gonna die here, but a shackle shot a big hit onto the death prophet. They don't have the damage though to finish him up. Show T. He's gonna make a break for the haste rune. Does manage to pick it up and zips on out of here. Doesn't have a whole lot of mobility left here. Kenji, look at this positioning. Breaks a bit of the smoke. The smoke may still find oh. Gugu. Hustla couldn't quite get there. With the toss, Hustle is going to be saved by the Glimmer Cape, and it looks like they didn't have any detection. Uh-oh, pull back in. Gugu, he's going to be dying here. The Supernova is going to go down, though. Juggernaut is able to finish oh, that one. Silence. Oh, the silence right before he can get off the Omni Slash. Well played by Jay on the Death Prophet, and this is going to be utter domination by IMG. One for four exchange. Yeah, it's just, it's it's a very uh, eclectic item build, for sure. I mean, oh, even, like, you know, Arcane Boots coming out so late. 
Show team missed his coil on Hustle mid. Uh oh. Ouch. That would have been a really big kill. In fact, <laughs> Hustle is still anyway. going to give them the opportunity <laughs> to get it. And <laughs> that tip will go right back into Hustle's pocket. Shackleshot not going to quite latch there. Veteran, they need more kills than just this tiny if they want to be able to take this mid tower. In fact, Qua, he's going to force it here with the double damage. Leads off of the old scepter. Going for Gugu. He does have the BKB. Pops immediately. Turns around. Shackleshot, another one that misses. Focus fire goes down. They do have the supernova that's immediately going to be dealt with here. And this is a massive difference from last fight where Veteran are still decently healthy here. Shoti is going to be able to make the jump away. Quad doesn't have the kind of mobility to catch up to him. Kenji also going to be fine. A smart TP out by him. Some uh, bigger late game items on the side of IMG now being complete. The smoke gank. They are going to be able to find the puck who is not in the smoke. A veteran here, but they do have the ice blast coming in. It's only going to be able to land on the hustler here. The old scepter will buy him a little bit of time here. Mice dangerously low. Has his healing ward taken out by Qua, who's immediately going to use that haste rune. Turn targets here. Focus on the Pangolier with a dissimilate. Looks like this is going to be easily enough damage. Kenji, the last one to get out here in is not going to make it out alive. TP. In fact, I'd love anybody on this team other than the troll to buy BKB. I love the death prop itemization, but I think he's just going to die here, possibly? What is happening? I don't know, but jump in. The Wind Ranger barely survives, but he doesn't have much left in the tank here. No wind run available, no BKB. He's just dead in show T if he's not careful. Another orb up in a second. It's going to be two seconds too late. To Disarm not there, so Bell, he's going to keep swinging at this melee barracks. Coil on to two, but the puck is going to be caught by Hustle. Not quite enough to be able to burst him down. Show T, though. He does have Yule Scepter still. He's going to pop it. See if he can use his silence to get out. Face shift a little bit longer. Jumps over the cliff. Can he get out? Qua. He spots him. Yule Scepter there, and it's looking like a phase shift. The Blink Dagger. Can he blink out of this with the Void Rem? It's going to catch him. He actually gets nailed by Qua. Bell is going to be able to get off his ultimate last second here. Still has that extra life as well, but he's going to be drugged deep past the tier fours. And this they're very deep. A spot where his team may not be able to help him here. See, the shackle shot is going to be lined no, up and perfectly. Out. The Phoenix absolutely That's screws it there as Bell is going to be able to BKB TP out, but uh, heroes are going to be chased down here. Certainly, it's warp 10. He's going to go for his TP away. A death profit. Oh, the raindrop barely keeps warp 10 alive, but the ice blast will condemn death profit to death. We prefer, I prefer the highbrow entertainment, no Dota 2. We might have some action coming up real soon as the smoke comes out, but there's still a ward on the high ground. Hustle is going to blink away onto uh, the Juggernaut. Oh, who knows? Omni Slash immediately gets ruined there by the Ghost Scepter. And now his spin does absolutely nothing too. He's going to go ahead and take his time and kill the Observer Ward. But they can still see you. And they're still going to be hunting you down, presumably to death. As Bell pop of the BKB to make sure it does indeed happen. Gugu. Ugu working towards an Agatim Scepter here. Hustle is going to be on the hunt. Actually, gets himself stuck. Fortunately, he's got the four Staff. Tosses the Void Spirit up in the air accidentally, though they will have the damage still to be able to ring down the Ancient Apparition. Gugu in some trouble here. Doesn't have the Wind Run. Is going to be Yule's up. Does have BKB and a Blink up. If he could just dodge a little bit of damage. Tries to go up on the high ground. Smart play. Blinks out. Very nicely done. While Kalei, he tries to run the opposite direction. No such luck for him, though. <laughs> There's no creeps on the towers. Theoretically, they won't be able to push, but unfortunately, they are just a little further behind than they may like. Phoenix trouble. Dive safety. Okay, may still try and chase here. No coil up just yet, and Troll actually getting caught by a shackle shot. They're going to have to TP onto the outpost if they want to make a team fight out of this one. The Phoenix does manage to pop the supernova here. They're going to try and deal with that. The Wind Ranger gets bursted down by the Tiny, though, and Bell. He's going to come back in. He has his ultimate ready to go alongside a DKB. So veteran are going to have to retreat. Unfortunate there. Um, the Aegis defense will be big, but I don't know if they'll be able to. Unfortunately, the DD on troll is uh, with the Abyssal. Oh, God, okay, I may have spoke too soon. This is very scary. All right, spin, but no TP, no Omni Slash either. Does have a Dagon Scepter. May just be bailed out by the Pango, but unfortunately, the silence is still there from Qua. And now, as such as he rolled in, he's going to have to roll on out, leaving his Radiant dead comrades behind him. Attack. Bell. The Aegis is going to be necessary for them to actually threaten to freeze, it appears. They recognize that. Better hurry up. 
They're gonna need that coil for this upcoming team fight. The Ice Blast, uh, just a bit shallow there. Does hit the two supports, whoa, whoa. but things whoa. are open now. Goku, I think he tried to get in there and steal the Aegis, but didn't know that Roshan was still decently healthy. Bell now gets the uh, all clear, is gonna go for it. The Pango's gonna roll in, early. but uh, again, a little bit too early. And, uh, well, that's kind of it for veteran when it comes to this Roshan fight. Whoever said better too early than too late, uh, was a Dota player, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, this is just a leveler now on the troll just to speed things up a bit. They've got Death Prophet ulti going. I mean, DP is out of item slots. No boots. He's got too many <laughs> items. Coil on to two. They are oh, yeah. going to be able to get the Snap Coil onto the Death Prophet here with the Ice Blast coming on through oh, the, the Omni Slash. Oh, the Axe Ultimate, the Supernova needs to die. They need to be able to kill these two, and they do manage to do it. Bell with his Abyssal Blade wasn't able to stop that one. The Troll, though, is in serious trouble. Left alone against a Troll is not where any carry wants to be. The rest of his team is still able to fan on out here, maybe potentially catching. They have to kite Bell around as much as possible. A toss up of the air actually catches the Troll. Instead of the puck, they're going to try and hunt down this tiny while keeping the troll disarmed. The Phoenix in the back line also being focused, but at the same time, it feels like they're not really dealing with one hero at a time. Three of them are going for the troll, the other two going for the supports in the back line. The troll's agents will finally be burned down here, but the Bindback's coming out from ING. Veteran is going to go ahead and call it quits. Reset if they can. Show T. Yeah. He's going to be good. You can move inside. That is what's insane about it. But we're going in. DPL back up. We're going to go for it again. The Aeon Disc is going to be popped here. The Tier 3 Tower is finished off. And Death Prophet looks to continue this assault. Now onto the Range Barracks, getting some permanent damage done. The Death Prophet's going to be caught by the Shackle Shot. In goes the Void Spirit, though, hopping around on the sides. Jump in. Bell managed to lock down to the Puck, but no bashes. Puck is able to control up here. Instead, the Abyssal Blade goes onto the Pango. They're able to protect the Supernova. What? Explode successfully. No way. Oh Unbelievable. Oh, he indeed. did get the Death Prophet inside, though, so he did still die. Oh, no. The Mega's taken, though. That was what a wild fight. If they that weren't so it. far ahead, I think IMG would have had a little more trouble closing this out. But, you know, well played to veteran. They, they tried their best, but they will come up just short.